that is that. Today we're going to talk about extrusion and we're going to go to the lab and do an experiment. But what is extrusion? Extrusion is the process of melting the polymer and pumping it through a dye and produce a continuous profile. What type of applications? What type of profiles can you make? You basically can make these type of profiles. Window profiles, these are Legos and they're made through injection process. But for the window profiles that are in your house, they're made through an extrusion process. All the PVC pipes, the plastic bags, the scotch tape, all of these materials are made through an extrusion process. This is basically how it works. You have the hopper, you feed the hopper with the pellets. The extruder has three zones. Zone one is the conveying zone, zone two is the transition zone, and zone three is the metering zone. In zone one, the screw, the diameter of the screw, is very small. So that way you can allow the pellets to come in. In zone two, the pellets start to melt, and in zone three you have all the pellets molten, and then they come out through whatever shape you have in this die. So the screw is continuously rotating, heated, and pumping the pellets out. So let's go to the lab so you can see it, and then you can think if there's something that you can make with this type of process. We're here ready to start. Let's turn on the machine. This is our lab scale, single screw extruder. Here we have a die. This is a slit die. All the connections to the heaters, the thermocouples, pressure sensors, and now ready to run the system with the software. We now select the characteristics of the screw, the length of the diameter, the type of die we have, and we start to input the desired temperatures on the system. And we're ready to go. We can run it in manual or in automatic mode. We're going to do it automatic now. We have to wait a little bit to heat up. In the meantime, we're going to start loading it with the pellets. And the material is coming out. Look at it. As I mentioned, this is a slit type. So it's basically giving us a film. And this film, we can stretch it to achieve the desired thickness. There is something very important to look at. Right now, it is amorphous. It is transparent, you can see through. As it cools down, it starts developing crystallinity and it becomes opaque. Just imagine, there's order internally. The atoms are starting to arrange. Look at right now. It's totally transparent when it's coming out because it is really hot and there's no order. Let's now stretch the material and see how it thins down. Also, look at this. If we're stretching and we let go, we create some resonance on the sides. We don't want those when we're making window profiles or PVC pipes or anything like that. The stretching has to be conducted at a constant rate. As we continue with the stretching, see how the cold front advances, basically start becoming opaque, there's internal order. I'm having some fun here, preparing a thin film manually. Oops, let's try to quench a piece of this amorphous material. I am placing it in liquid nitrogen, therefore cooling it really, really, really fast, and freeze it to retain the amorphous properties. 